everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about seven signs of a worn distributor cap and rotor. And you better look out for them. You better look out for these signs. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, what is the purpose um, of a distributor cap and rotor? What do they do for the engine? So basically, to sum it up in layman's terms, they are responsible for delivering electricity to the engine through various means. Okay, um, so they are basically responsible for the electricity that the engine needs to combust and to run and to make the car move. So let's get right into the video. What are the signs of a worn distributor cap and rotor? All right, sign number one is the engine doesn't start. Now, don't get me wrong, there can be many reasons why an engine doesn't start, but definitely a worn distributor cap and rotor can be one of them. And that's because if your distributor cap and rotor are worn enough, they can't send electricity to the engine or can't send it to the engine properly so the engine's not going to get that electricity and it won't be able to start because it needs that electricity so it will not start that is the first um, sign and symptom and obviously you don't want to get to that sign and symptom you don't want to get um, to that level right because you want to fix it before your engine doesn't start or else you're stranded so the first sign and symptom of a worn distributor cap and rotor is that the engine doesn't start number two is a misfiring engine okay so basically uh, when your engine is misfiring um, some of the cylinders are firing and some of the cylinders are not firing okay now some cylinders may not be firing all the time or just sometimes okay but that's what it what it is it's it's misfiring when your engine is firing it means the cylinders are moving up and down blah 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 the cylinders are firing properly okay the pistons are moving up and down blah 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 um but at the end of the day if some cylinders are not getting electricity at all or enough electricity enough of a spark basically then it's going to cause you to have a misfiring engine okay and you want to avoid that as well Sign number three of a worn distributor cap and rotor is weird noises, okay? So let's say your cylinders are trying to fire but they're not able to so you're getting that misfiring that's going to cause some seriously weird noises okay um in addition in addition um even if your cylinders are firing but they're not getting the right amount of electricity because of a worn distributor cap and rotor um then you're going to get some weird noises so at the end of the day there are thousands of things that can cause weird noises but if you can narrow those noises down to your cylinders and them misfiring or not getting enough electricity consistently then that's usually a sign that you have a worn distributor cap and rotor potentially even your spark plugs or your spark plug wires right so you got to look into those electrical issues um number four the fourth sign is a check engine light listen your check engine light can come on for many different reasons okay and some of them are serious some of them are not if it comes on because of a worn distributor cap and rotor that's a pretty serious issue because you're gonna probably be stranded soon in the sense that your engine won't start soon so if your check engine light comes on you want to look into it and if you can pair that light with other symptoms that I've spoken about in this video so far and upcoming ones that I will be speaking about then that's definitely something to look into your check engine light in modern cars will also usually come on with a different light that will indicate the specific thing that is causing the check engine light to come on because they're all related in modern cars it's all computer based it's all electronically based so look at what other lights come on with the check engine light um, if there are some. If you're driving a modern car, it's probably going to be the case. Okay, so that was number four, the check engine light illuminating. And that's always something to be worried about when you see it. Everyone worries when they see it, but it, a lot of times it could be just a minor problem, right? So the check engine light coming on was number four. Sorry, just to recap, number five is the engine starts, but it's difficult to start. So it it's hesitant. Instead of, da, 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 vroom, you know, that sounds like a pretty good car to me. Uh, it sounds like a sports car. It's like, vroom, 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 
you know, it's, it's hesitant. And that's because, once again, your cylinders are not getting the electricity that they need to create the proper spark to create that combustion in the engine that will allow the engine to run. Now, there are many reasons why an engine is hesitant to start, uh, but definitely a worn distributor cap and rotor is one significant one, and it happens over time, right? Your distributor cap and rotor, they have to be replaced eventually. So if your car is a bit older, this is definitely something that you have to keep in mind okay how old it all depends on the make the model and the actual um distributor cap and roar how well they were created to begin with but if your car is older definitely keep this in mind so that was number five engine that is hesitant to start we're getting towards the end now but stay tuned all the way till the end number six is shaking or vibrating um or rumbling within the car now a little bit of shaking is normal, right? Especially when you get older cars, they, 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 they might be running perfectly, but a little bit of shaking, a little bit of vibrating is normal, especially if your car, if you're driving a manual car and you're letting it rev lower, whatever the case is, you're shifting at a lower RPM, you're releasing the clutch a little too fast, completely normal. But if you're consistently experiencing this, then it's definitely something to look into. So with that being said, if you notice shaking, rumbling, or vibrating more than usual, more than what you're used to, then it's definitely Definitely something that you should look into your distributor cap and rotor uh, the electrical uh, ability of your engine to deliver that spark that it needs okay um, that's it last but not least is number seven which is stalling okay so if you're driving and this is a big symptom of a worn distributor cap and rotor if you're driving and your engine just conks out like you're you're sitting at a red light and just just conks out or you're driving and your engine just stalls it just stops running that's a huge symptom of electrical issues in the car, right? It's a huge symptom. Um, and that's simply because the, the uh, distributor cap and rotor combined with the spark plug wires and the spark plugs themselves cannot consistently deliver that spark. So you might get the spark to start it, and it might be running, but then as it's running, it can't deliver enough sparks or enough electricity to enough cylinders to keep it running, so it conks out. So if you see that your engine is stalling, that's a huge thing to consider for a potential worn distributor cap and rotor. And that's basically it. Those are seven signs of a worn distributor cap and rotor, and you should definitely look out for them. Keep your eyes peeled for them. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. As a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching